Hello and welcome to Cherish Yoga. Today we are focusing on yoga for neuropathy. So I, I see this all the time. I hear from folks all the time that they're struggling or dealing with or managing um, neuropathy, pain, tingling, numbness. Sometimes it feels like there's like a sock on your foot or gloves on your hands. Um, issues with balance related to neuropathy. So I know it's a widespread issue. So I'm really excited about this practice. And what we'll need today is we'll need uh, some kind of a dish towel. We are gonna do a little bit of footwork. So we need a dish towel. I find that works the best, um, or if not, maybe like a washcloth or something. We'll also need some kind of a ball if you have a tennis ball handy. If you don't, just go ahead and grab some kind of a can from your pantry. It could be vegetables, soup, doesn't matter. Just some kind of a can. We're going to use this to stimulate um, some, some things in our feet uh, to get our feet moving a little bit. So let's go ahead. If you need to grab those, go ahead and hit the pause button, grab them, and then come on back and we'll get started. Okay, as always, we're gonna give ourselves a few moments to let the dust settle from the day, let the whatever has been going on in your day, just to let it calm down, let it wash away. So I invite you to sit back in your chairs, close your eyes, take these first few moments of stillness. We're talking today about neuropathy, which is nerve damage in the peripheral nervous system. We have the central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal cord, and then we have everything else, which is the peripheral nervous system. But as we sit here, what we're doing is we're allowing our brains, we're still, we're still uh, taking care of, we're giving our, our nervous system a little TLC, we're allowing our brains to just settle, calm down. Focus in on the present. Maybe focus on the breath. That can help us, that can draw us into the moment. As distracting thoughts float through your mind, just let them go. There's no need, we don't need them right now. If you need them later, they'll be there, I promise you. But for these next, this next little bit of time that we're practicing together, you don't need it, so let it go. Let's take a few deep breaths here. Inhale. Exhale through the nose. One more time. Inhale. Exhale slowly through the nose. Good. We're going to sit tall in the chair. And I always like to find a little movement in the neck. I just, I find there's a lot of tension in the neck and the shoulders, myself included. So we're just going to move a little bit through the neck. So we're talking today about neuropathy, which like I said, is nerve damage in the peripheral nervous system. It can happen in a number of different places. We're really going to focus in on the feet in this, um, in this practice. And symptoms, as you probably know, numbness, tingling, um, pain, could result in uh, trouble with your balance, could feel like you have a sock on your foot or something on your foot, um, it could be some muscle weakness, could be a number of symptoms. Go ahead and draw circles with your nose. So one of the important things about neuropathy to note is that there are a number of different causes, as well as different symptoms, there are different causes. So one of the best things we can do is really chat with your doctor, make sure that uh, your doctor is aware of the situation so that he or she can identify, let's reverse, can identify the cause of the neuropathy. Because in identifying the cause, there might be treatments that you can find going down that path to help with some of the symptoms. Go ahead and look forward. Let's roll one shoulder and then the other. We can't, there's no magic pill. We can't fix the neuropathy. Like I said, it's a symptom of something else. So, so, but what we're going to do today is to do some exercises, some stretches, some of the most important things we can do in our time together. And when you're thinking about exercising for neuropathy is to think about um, strengthening muscles, think about stretching muscles, think about building balance, and then think about aerobic exercise. Now we're not gonna do aerobic exercise today per se, but that's something else that you can incorporate into being mindful of to incorporate in. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stimulate some of this 
some of the circulation in our legs. So like I said, we're focusing on the feet and the legs. So I'm going to take my hands and I'm just going to gently start to massage down the calf muscle, down the back of the lower leg. Kind of waking things up, especially if, the, if you're watching this in the morning. Get the body to wake up a little bit. Switch to the other leg. I'm just taking my thumbs and just kind of pressing all the way down. You can do this however it feels good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take, um, take either the tennis ball or the can and we're going to simply just roll the foot over. So I'll show you with the tennis ball first of all and then with the can. So we're not going to press hard. We're just trying to stimulate, we're trying to kind of trigger the nervous system down there in the foot. Again, kind of stimulate some circulation, some increased circulation. I'm simply rolling the foot over. This has been found to be helpful in dealing with neuropathy. And then the next, um, the next part of our practice we're going to do is one of my favorites. I call it the magic pill even though it's not really a magic pill but I call it that because I've had a number of people just anecdotally tell me that they have um, regained some control in their feet, they've regained some feeling in their feet. So I can't promise that, obviously, but it's one of the best exercises I've found to help people dealing with, um, with issues in their feet, especially with numbness and um, neuropathy type symptoms. All right, let's go ahead and switch feet. Now this one, I'm gonna take the can and I'm just gonna roll it over. And if you find this feels good and it's helpful, this is such an easy thing to do. Keep a tennis ball, keep something next to the couch, wherever you find yourself sitting during the day, maybe at the table. You can just roll your foot while you're doing something else, while you're knitting, while you're watching TV, whatever it is. Perfect. Okay, now we're gonna take this towel and we're going to place the towel in front of us on the ground. If you've done any classes with me, you've probably done this before. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. All right, we're going to plant the heel and then we're going to take the toes down onto the towel and we're going to try to pick the towel up with the toes. So here's, a, it may be that nothing happens whatsoever. You might be telling, your brain might be sending signals down to your foot to say, pick the towel up and it's just nothing is happening. That's okay because simply by sending the message down to your foot, you're still, um, you're still initiating movement, you're initiating the muscle contraction, you're initiating things, you're triggering things in your foot, which can be helpful. And over time, sometimes this takes a long time. Sometimes people get it like that. Sometimes it takes a long time. So over time, this is one that you will see um, improvement with. Like I said, this is the one where I hear from people most often that they, they notice a difference in their feet. They start to maybe get some feeling back. They start to get some control back, which makes a huge difference. That There's such a domino effect because that then helps your balance, which helps your um, overall stability, helps keep you safer, helps you feel more confident as you're going through your day. All right, let's go ahead and switch feet. Let's do it just one or two more times. Perfect. Let's come into a crescent lunge. So we're stepping the right foot forward and we're gonna have both knees bent on this one and the back heel is up. Okay, so we've got both knees bent. Our back heel is up. We're gonna take our hips. We're gonna tuck them under just a little bit. Okay, I like to think about this laser beam coming out of the navel and it goes from being forward or from being down to being forward. Good. Now we're going to hold the hands maybe at the heart or maybe on the chair to stabilize yourself. Good. 
And let's press into the ground to straighten the knees. Exhale, lower. This is building strength in our legs. So as we push into the ground, continue to push, strengthen those muscles, tighten those muscles, and exhale, lower. Let's do that one more time. And then we're going to lower. Now, go ahead and grab the chair if you'd like to. We're gonna take the back heel, leave the back knee bent, and then take the back heel and reach it toward the ground. You probably have noticed that, <laughs> that changes the stretch slightly. Gives us more of a stretch through our calf muscle, through the back of that lower leg. Good, we're gonna step the back foot in, shake it out a little bit, shake both legs out a little bit, and then we'll switch to the other side. So let's take the left foot forward this time. We've got both knees bent. Back heel is up. We're gonna tuck our hips under just a little bit. Point the laser beam forward, and then hands come to the heart. Let's push into the ground to straighten the legs and exhale lower. Push into the ground to straighten, continue pushing, strengthening, tightening those leg muscles and then exhale lower. One more time. Now we're gonna hold here, stabilize with the chair if you'd like to. Keep the back knee bent and then reach that back heel toward the ground. It's just such a slight move such a slight change, but it shifts the stretch and it adds a stretch to what is already a strengthening pose. Good, and then let's come on up, shake the legs out. I've got one more pose for us today and then we'll do a little stretch. So we're going to come into a star pose. I'm going to move my chair to the side, but I would keep your chair in front of you because we're going to be doing some side leg lifts. I'm just going to move mine so you can see. So let's start with our feet nice and wide. We've got our wider than hip width. We've got our toes forward. We're coming into a star pose. We're going to push our feet into the ground. Imagine someone has a string attached to your head and they're pulling it up to the ceiling. Good, now slowly reach your fingers toward the ground, palms forward, and then lift them to the sides. Good, holding this here. For extra intensity in the legs, you can think about pressing into the ground with the outer edges of the feet and then lifting up through the arches. That helps energize the legs, helps build a little more strength here since that is one of our goals today. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and lower the arms. Take your hands to the chair. We're gonna shift our weight over to one leg and we're gonna do some leg lifts here to the side. As we do so, we're gonna lift with the heel and the toes are pointing forward, okay? So hands are in front of you on the chair. We lift one, let's go for eight. And two, it's nice and controlled. Three, I'll take my hands to my heart. You can always try to take your hands to your heart if you'd like to, four, five, six, seven, good, and eight. Let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Place the foot down. We shift the weight over and we do eight on the other side. Here we go. Up one, lifting with the heel, toes are forward, and two, good, three, four, five, six, 
seven and eight. Beautiful. Ooh, okay, I've got a little um, balance pose for us. So we're going to come back to this star pose that we've been in. <sighs> Take a deep breath, first of all. We worked hard just now. All right, now we're going to shift our weight back over to that first side. And we're going to think about energy shooting out through every limb. Okay, so we've got all of our weight on one foot. We're pushing into the ground. We've got energy pushing into the ground. We're going to slowly lift our foot up off of the ground, maybe. You might keep the toe on the ground. That might be what's most comfortable for you. Okay, if you would like to take the foot off of the ground, we flex that foot. Good, and then we start to shift a little bit. Again, you have your hands on your chair at this point. We shift a little bit. Maybe you add some arms. Keep the core strong, keep the shoulders down, and then reach out through the fingertips. Good, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do that on the other side. We're gonna shift over, hands are on the chair. Okay, we've got the toes on the ground. Now you might wanna start playing around with lifting that foot up off of the ground, lifting with the heel. Now push out through both feet, and then when and if you're ready, go ahead and add the arms. We're tilting off of that leg just slightly. Good. Shoulders are down, reaching out through the fingertips. Lots of energy. Keeping the core strong. And release. Woo. All right, take it out. Take a breath. Let's have a seat and do a stretch. We're, we're going to bring the train into the station now. We're going to start to slow things down a little bit. Okay, go ahead and take your towel again. All right, now we're going to take the towel underneath the arch of the foot. And and you might, if this, if this towel isn't long enough, you can do it without the towel, first of all, or you could get like a bath towel, something that's longer. So whatever works better for you. So if your towel is long enough, go ahead and loop it under the bottom of your foot. The spine is nice and long here. We're pulling that foot back and then we're hinging forward, keeping the spine long, keeping it straight and taking deep breaths. Now, if your towel is not long enough, again, you can do it without the towel. You could bring your arms in front of you. You can rest them on your leg. Let's come on up and let's switch to the other side. So if your towel is long enough, go ahead and loop it under the arch of the foot. Nice long spine and then reach your heart forward, hinging forward until you feel the stretch in the back of the leg and then holding it there. If the towel's not long enough, simply place your hands on your thigh or maybe out in front. And then we're gonna hold, take deep breaths. grab your um, either the tennis ball or the can we're gonna do one more thing to finish this out okay so as we settle back into our chairs I invite you to close your eyes and slowly roll your foot over that tennis ball or over the can everything else in your body is relaxed switch feet.
And then rest both feet on the ground. Wake everything else back up. Begin to wiggle your toes. Good. Begin to wiggle your fingers. Find some movement in the neck. Good. Let's take a big inhale together. Exhale like you're blowing out a candle. One more time. Inhale. Blow out that candle. to hearts. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.